Hello everyone, Vita's a 32 back with another review. This is the Russian folk art deck of cards from Natalia Silva, which is not even Russian, but at least I don't think she is, or maybe she's married to a Portuguese guy, I don't know. But Silva is not a port the is not a Russian name, that's for sure. Anyways, but it doesn't matter. Anyone can create a Russian deck of cards. I just thought that was interesting. Um in front of the box is Russian folk art and there's all sorts of Russian type Details and elements, chickens or something, birds, flowers, all sorts of stuff. One side says Ericus and Finnis, made in USA. And so does the other side. Actually, sorry, it says Rest in Folk Art by Natalia so on the other side. My apologies. Top, just some flowers, doesn't look like it says anything. But bottom, not glued properly, as you can probably tell, but. It's got USB-C information, trademark stuff. The back, so you the back design of the cards. And then you got a standard USB-C seal in red. Which you don't see very often, but it's nice to see it. Some people are a little bit concerned over the fact that the box is more orange than red. It could have been, you know, redder like the seal. But the cards themselves are darker colors, so it's not too bad. You get some floral elements on the flaps as well. And then we get to the cards. And like I said, the cards actually do have a darker color than the box. Closer to the seal, so it's good. <laughs> Inside, you do get a couple of double backers. At this one, which is red on both sides. Beautiful bat design. Floral patterns. Reminds me of a tally hole circle back, which is one of my favorite decks, so I like it. The other color is red on one side, green on the other. I like that color. Could have been nice if they had a green deck as well, but it didn't happen. Jokers, you get the good old Russian bear. It says Joker in green. The two corners are for green star, and it's a Russian bear in green with a red hat. Pips down the middle of his body. Star on the side as well. The other one is slightly different but similar. It's a different bear. He's got pips on his body again, and it says Joker in red in the corner of a red star. So you can see they kind of contrast from one to the other. Pretty cool. The Ace of Spades. More floral type elements and resin elements. And it's green. Spades and clubs are in green in this deck. Hearts and diamonds in red. And there you go. And only, well, the Ace of Hearts, Ace of Clubs. They all seem to have uh, crowns on them. This one kind of is too, with flowers. And so does a spade, I guess. So it's pretty interesting. Court cards, they all got a, a nice Russian doll look to them. Pretty cool. Definitely Russian inspired. They look like those dolls. I forget what to call but more that in a bit. If I'm going too fast, I apologize. You can pause and rewind. Number cards, all the twos, all the numbers each have kind of a theme with them. The twos all got a building like this on them basically. There's some variances from suit to suit. Like there's reversed colors and different elements, but they're more or less the same. Freeze all got wreaths, floral wreaths. Fours all got a bird theme. The five got these dolls again. These are the ones that you see on the court cards where you open it up and there's more little ones inside each one. And I forget what they're called though, fortunately. Six has got kind of flower in the center and some other details, uh, bird like almost. Sevens all got free flowers on them. As you can see, the pips are all fairly standard, but smaller in order to fit all the artwork. The eights all got birds. Nines got whatever the heck that is. I'm not even sure. If you know, let me know. And the tens got more Russian roots from St. Petersburg, I would say. And here's another two. So you can see it's got buildings, free, it's got wreaths, etc., etc. Um, overall, it's pretty cool. I like the Russian elements. 
I like that to use you know green colors instead of black for the spades and clubs and I really like that she incorporated the artwork with the pips so that makes it you know pretty functional decks of cards um, overall as far as hazard is concerned you know USB-C stock bicycle stock bicycle bicycle stock Ericus and Venus that is handles good looks good nice soft stock almost an aristocrat stock I would say or maybe not but um as far as handling is concerned I would say four out of five as far as the style is concerned the themes I would say again a good four out of five and as far as usability is concerned I'm gonna say three and a half out of five just because different characters and all the artwork that's on the faces does make it a little bit hard to see some of the pips and whatnot and you know it just it might be a little bit hard to use for certain things but it is a nice stack of cards overall four out of five I like it you can get it um I'm not so aware actually I do have one available or two available I think it is if anyone's interested and I think actually she has a website I'll put it in the description below if I find it and of course if not check out collectiblepointcards.com there's a whole whole bunch of other decks you can get use the code readers 8 and get 10% off the order see ya